It's only December 9th, and already the Wisconsin Badgers have experienced a season with great highs and great lows. Wednesday night will probably be one that won't make the end of the season highlight video as Wisconsin loses a heartbreaker 68-67 to in-state rival Milwaukee. The junior duo of Nigel Hayes and Bronson Koenig helped the Badgers build a 15-point first-half lead, and Wisconsin would enjoy an 11-point cushion as both juniors were in double digits by intermission. That lead would quickly disappear as Milwaukee scored the first seven points of the second half and showed that they would hang around. The Badgers' lead would hold until the final minutes when Milwaukee took a 62-60 lead with 2.20 remaining. The Panthers would grow their lead to four points with under a minute remaining. In desperation mode, Koenig nailed a three with 13.4 seconds remaining to cut the deficit to 68-67. After a Milwaukee travel on the ensuing inbounds pass, the Badgers had the ball back with 11.2 seconds left and a chance to win the game. 17 days earlier, Koenig was the hero, scoring on a spinning layup to knock off VCU in Madison Square Garden. He would have no such luck Wednesday at the Kohl Center as his turnaround jumper rimmed in and out, sealing the Panthers' upset. The final outcome spoiled a career night for Nigel Hayes, who finished with 32 points and eight rebounds. Freshman Ethan Happ notched his fourth double-double the season with 10 points and 15 rebounds, and Bronson Koenig rounded out Wisconsin's double-digit scores with 16 points. Wisconsin out-rebounded Milwaukee 45 to 29 and posted a higher shooting percentage. But Milwaukee got it where it mattered most, pulling off the 68-67 win. Wisconsin will have to turn the page quickly on Saturday. Another in-state rival, Marquette, invades the Kohl Center. That tip-off is set for 12.30 p.m. and you can watch it on ESPN2.